Infinity states that the oil for the drivetrain is pretty much for the lifetime of the vehicle. On estimation, the lifetime would be up to 100,000 miles. However, I'm at 50,000 miles and the car is tuned, so I like the peace of mind of knowing that it has fresh oil throughout the entire vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and change the ATF fluid at home in my garage. So what you're gonna need is this gear lube pump. Buy the one with the Yamaha adapter, 19 mil, and obviously, you know, you need your wrench. You're gonna want a five millimeter hex, 12 quarts of your ATF fluid. I went ahead and used the genuine Nissan fluid that's already in the vehicle. In the future, I will be using more of a race oriented oil, but for now, you can't go wrong with the OEM stuff. I'm close to reaching 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, and I'd like to show appreciation by giving away a pair of carbon fiber forged mirror caps. All you have to do is like my video, sub to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and comment that you've done all three steps. Make sure not to miss out on this giveaway. These carbon forged caps are truly beautiful. So the first thing that we're gonna do is remove that black panel right here so we can have access to the transmission pan. Then you got 114 mil that's right above the exhaust so I can't get to it with the socket. I'm gonna have to remove it with an, a box wrench. So I opted out to just bending that little bracket slightly to move that panel out. It shouldn't be a problem, they just, the manufacturer ended up using rivets instead of bolts, but whatever, it's gonna work out. Now I can actually fit my drain pan right underneath the drain bolt. So now we're gonna connect the Yamaha adapter. It has the same thread, but different pitch. You wanna just put it finger tight. You don't wanna cross thread this, okay? It's very important that you do not tighten that all the way. You will cross thread it and you will mess up your oil pan. Now you're gonna loosen the drain bolt. So after draining, you're gonna wanna put the drain plug back in. Now we're gonna fill three quarts. So now I have the gear pump attached to the quart. Now we're gonna pump three quarts later we have replenished some of the fluid now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the vehicle let it idle for a minute that way we can redrain you want to leave that adapter plugged in so you don't risk damaging the oil pan plus we're also going to be pumping more fluid back into the transmission once we drain all right so now you want to start the car for one minute so have your timer ready and you're gonna let it idle Now we're gonna go through the same process. We're going to drain and then refill. Once you're done draining, you're gonna wanna put the plug back and start pumping some new fluid in there. You're gonna add another three quarts. All right, so the second fill is complete. Now we're gonna do the second drain. All right, so now we're at the final step. So far, I have drained three times and I've failed four times. So now for this final step, we're gonna leave that Yamaha adapter plugged in. We're gonna turn on the vehicle. So now we have to leave the car idling for a couple minutes until it reaches 104 degrees at the transmission oil pan. So if you have an infrared temperature gauge, you can use that. So when it gets to 104 degrees, you're gonna wanna come to the bottom, remove the adapter and reinstall your fill plug. Now, if your fill plug is not dripping slightly while you remove the adapter, then you still need to add more ATF fluid. You start the vehicle, run through the gears, reverse, hold it there for a few seconds, go into neutral. Drive back into neutral. 
Nitro. Into reverse. And back into park. Now you're gonna wait until the temp gets to 104 degrees. Said if you have an infrared thermometer, you can point this at the oil pan and check to see the temperature. And it should say 104 degrees. It's currently at 97.6. It's at 102, 103. So now you want to reinstall all your panels and then when you go on a drive just take it easy let it shift through all gears before getting on it as you can see it's not that difficult just got to pay attention there's gonna be links in the description for a couple parts that I used to help you out during during this procedure so that's it for the video guys just make sure to have the car uh, jacked up properly and safely wear your PPE obviously I didn't have any gloves so that's a fail on my part but I did have I did have safety glasses um, it shouldn't take you very long just watch the video uh, if you found this video informative make sure to always turn that light button blue and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace to